YouTube. This is Sarah Elena I'm Costa Rica. I'm Costa Rica. Today I'm going on an adventure. Well, actually, for multiple days. Going to go check out some of the beautiful beaches of Guanacaste. So let's just go see what happens and what we find. So if you're new to this channel, I help people move to Costa Rica. So relocation company, we help with everything, everything under the sun. So if you're thinking about moving or if you're thinking about coming down for a trip to visit, scout out different areas. I've been to almost, I've been to a lot of places in Costa Rica and I've lived in many as well myself. So we definitely consult on helping you pick a few areas that might be the right fit for you, for you to go visit or help you narrow it down for your actual move. And yeah, so if you need more information, you can check the description below and uh, let's go see what we find on these adventures. Friendship Bridge. Give it a little chime. What do you say? Say it. Say it. Let me go through. The Chinese government gave it to Costa Rica. Um, also, the National Stadium in exchange of and fishing in the coast. Very interesting. It is raining. This is a cute little place called Tiki Bar. And I'm going to have some lunch. Cute place. The ocean's right over there. It's kind of on the end of the road in the middle of nowhere. I don't have any cell phone reception here, but they do have Wi-Fi. But it's super lovely. It's still raining here in Marbella, so we're going to go somewhere where it's not raining. Let's see where that is. Playa Lagarto. Playa Lagarto. It's not gonna come out because it's raining, but looks like more of a bay. Looks like there are some people around. Again, small town. Not a whole lot going on. But looks like a very pretty beach. So this is Playa Grande, which is on the other side of Tamarindos. Oh, Jesus, that's a hole. <laughs> All right, so we got Playa Grande here. Not too many people. All over there is Tamarindo. If you want to get from there to here quickly, you have to take a little boat. So surfers do that so they can come over and surf. But otherwise driving, I think it's like 20 minutes to come around, 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes to drive around from Tamarindo over to here. And if you're curious about Tamarindo, then I have a video all about Tamarindo. You can find it in the link below, but we're not going to Tamarindo today. So beautiful. No filters. It really is this beautiful. If you see beautiful shells like this, never take them home. Actually, don't take anything from the beach home with you. Don't take more than pictures. Don't leave more than footprints. I don't know what these are, but I'm going to call them sea snails. Okay, now we're going to climb over there. Hurts. They made it to the top. Woo! Okay, so when we went from Marbella where it was raining, it came up to Playa Grande near Tamarindo, which you guys will see the video there in just a second. And I just found this place on Airbnb. I messaged them and said, hey, we're gonna be there in an hour and a half. Do you have a room? And this place was amazing. It's called Rip Jack Inn. I'm gonna have the link down in the description below as well. 
super lovely room. I'm not gonna show you now because we're actually leaving. Um, but yeah, super modern, very comfortable bed, air conditioning, super cute. Place has got a pool. Um, really, really lovely place. Super friendly staff. Um, really happy we stayed here. Right, I mean, the beach is just right through a nice walking path and very lovely. And it also had this super cute restaurant that we had dinner at last night and then um, breakfast this morning. So the restaurant's on like a top floor over there. Nice atmosphere, super cool. Food was delicious. In about 25 minutes from Playa Grande is Playa Conchal. That's where we're going right now. This is, you have to park. This is a little trail you can take and walk down and then find yourself a nice spot on the beach in Playa Conchal. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys what this place looks like. Okay, so we parked where Google Maps told us to park to access Playa Conchal. I've been here before, but I didn't realize that I didn't actually get to the real Playa Conchal, so you gotta walk a while down. But in the meantime, here's a cool resort that's right here. It's called Hacienda Conchal. So if you wanna be in a resort right in front of this beach, I'm not gonna go in, but it looks fancy. It looks fun. And I'm sure you'd enjoy yourself very much right there. It's called W. That's what it's called. So if you ever wanna stay there, you can go look for it. It's right here, the resort, and then boom, you got the beach. And then if you get too tired from walking, you can get a pipa. <laughs> called a ficus tree. It's incredible. Playa Conchal, it is so beautiful, holy cannoli. My GoPro um, doesn't have any battery, of course. I'm like, well, let me get do snorkeling without a GoPro battery. So I hope I go in here and we don't lose the phone. Um, if we do, everything's on the cloud. But look, this is freaking amazing. This is paradise, I'm in paradise, I'm in paradise. This is awesome. You gotta come visit. There are boat tours, jet ski. And if you really want to be all by yourself on this beach, you could just go all the way down there and there could be nobody around. What? Snorkeling? Oh, pina coladas? Inside of a pineapple? Okay, now we just ate. We're leaving Playa Conchal and off to our next destination, which I just booked while we were sitting on the beach, which will be in Playa, Playa Flamingo. Rosalito, little tiny itty bitty town tour we're gonna do here. Just left Conchal, so I wanna show you guys this area. Maybe we'll pull over and just make a look around the beach or something. Yeah, this is Rosalito. And we'll do, we'll do a little loop around. You can see this area, it's just on the other side of Conchal. Paradise Flamingo Hotel, rented on Airbnb. It was $114 for the night, which is definitely a good price for having a pool and ocean view. Amazing. I'll have the link to this place in the description below as well. So this looks to be the parking situation down here. 
You just gotta get yourself up on a curb. So this is around sunset time. So, so far we've done four beaches in two days. Marbella, which was raining, Playa Grande, yesterday afternoon and evening for sunset. Uh, Playa Conchal this morning until after lunch. And now we're here to have another sunset at another beach. And what's really gonna make this sunset super magical is the mojito. So let's go get a mojito. This is where we're getting the mojitos. Cute little thing. It looks like its name is Coco Loco. You come here, eat on the beach, enjoy your life. That's what I've been told by a Tico. So it must be true. <laughs> what was that? That is not normal. You should never do that. No one should ever be doing that. a little private beach that is attached to well, part of the resort. I mean, no beach in Costa Rica is technically private. Just you, the access, if, it's, if you can only get access to it through a property, then, but if you can get to the beach, it's all yours. Free to join it. So let's go see what the color of this water looks like. It has a mixture of like white sand and black sand. It's really beautiful. Bye bye, Playa Flamingo, off to Portrero. I literally just drove five minutes from where I was in Portrero, which you just saw Portrero Beach, which is a little bit brown and, and a little rocky. Literally, like right next door, if you open up Google Maps, look for Portrero, look, um, you know, right to the side of it, and you'll see something that says Playa Penca. So this is Playa Penca. This is white sand, beautiful. I mean, all beaches are beautiful. I'm not discriminating on beaches. But I guess Playa Penca is just on the other side of this rock, so Portrero is just on the other side of that rock. So I just kind of drove around five minutes and now I'm on this side. And this looks really amazing too. So yeah, definitely see why people like these areas. Um, I mean, they're stunning and gorgeous. No doubt about that. We're off to Playa Danta in the area of Las Catalinas. I guess this is kind of just a neighborhood road. I guess Portrero might be a mix of paved and dirt roads. Oh, there we go, there's a bump. Kind of a main road slash neighborhood road where you might find some houses you know in any of my town tours you probably won't live right there where all the shops and restaurants are you'll probably live somewhere outside but again if i were to drive around and show you every house that would be a very long video and i don't think you guys would stick around for that long so so the roads here are so so definitely a little bit, a bit of an obstacle course which is how a lot of areas of costa rica can be lots of holes big holes little holes down here is playa danta Let's check it out and see what it looks like. White sand, calm waters, looks good to me. It's Saturday now, so a lot of people are probably out enjoying with their family. Imagine during the week it's pretty quiet. This looks to be the little plaza down here in La Cas Las Catalina. It's a restaurant. Kayaking, paddle boarding, these restaurants. In mean, typical me fashion, locked my keys in the car. That hasn't happened for years. So. <laughs> I've been wedging sticks in the top, trying everything, looking at YouTube videos, and 
we found these nice men who are workers who I guess are really good at this. So let's see how it goes. Another thing I love about Costa Rican people, they're amazing. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> the keys are right in the ignition, so hopefully we can just roll down the window. Got it open with minimal damage. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to Playa Avellanas. We were up in, what, Portrero and Las Catalinas. And then we were gonna go to Nosara, but then we realized it was three and a half hours away. So we decided that we didn't wanna drive that far. So I have to drive a lot tomorrow to go back home. And let's go see what this beach looks like. Playa Avellanas. Here is a bar restaurant called Lola's. at this pool. This is our room. There's a freaking bathtub. Holy cannoli. Okay, so the, the nice person leading us to our room said that there's only, what, three five-star hotels in Guanacaste? And we are in one of them. This is freaking awesome. This is beautiful. I'll take it. Got nice doors, they open up into somewhere. This looks amazing. Okay, so our journeys continue. We were in Avellanas yesterday, as you can see by the video, and then we booked an Airbnb. This has never happened to me before, but we booked an Airbnb. The lady instantly confirmed, like, you know, it was just instantly confirmed. And usually I always send a message like, hey, we'll be there in an hour, two hours, whatever. So I let her know, hey, we'll be there in a few hours. I never got a response back, but you know, I had the map location, everything, and it was instantly confirmed. So I was like, okay, let's just go. You know, the sun had set, it started raining actually. So we hop in the car, go to the map point of the Airbnb, which is inside of this gated development called Hacienda Panilla, which I've heard about, and you'll get to see a little bit of today because we're here, but the, the Airbnb, they never responded, never answered calls. Like luckily the gate guy let us through. He's like, well, go ahead and try to find the house, no problem. And the map point took us to like this beach club. We even asked the reception there and they were telling us, no, like, you know, they're like, I'm, it's not here. You know, you can go through the front gate and like drive all this other way and try to find out who the owner is. But I was like, you know what? That sounds like a lot. Let's just cancel it. I'll cancel it, get my money back. And we are at the Marriott which is freaking awesome. I was like, you know what? Let's just go see. It is like seven o'clock, 7 p.m. Let's go see what is their cheapest room that they can give us because we're coming in super last minute and I'm sure there'd be no one else staying in that room anyways. And yeah, we got a really good rate on an amazing room and we're gonna just hang out here today and explore the area. <laughs> This is the beach area here. Beautiful white sand beach. Some nice rocks. And then it has the whole Marriott behind. We are leaving, but this is the upstairs. Those are our suitcases slash reusable bags from the grocery store. We don't need a big suitcase for trips like these. So this place has like multiple restaurants. There's like one here, one there, three downstairs, another over there. I think I've counted at least six or seven like places you can eat here. All right, this is probably gonna be the last beach on our Guanacaste beach hopping tour. Most of the beaches that we've been to have had secured parking where you just pay the guy to watch your vehicle, which I do highly recommend, especially because we've already checked out of our hotel. We are, you know, have our stuff in the car, so it's kind of nice that we don't have to bring everything with us. So this is Playa Negra. Oh, this is a lovely walking thing. Playa Negra surf shop. A little restaurant over here. Volleyball, and you got this lovely beach. Playa Negra translates to black beach, but this beach is not black at all. It is white sand beach. 
Not sure who named this. Definitely the beach doesn't have too many people. Oh, there's some black sand. <laughs> but yeah, this beach doesn't have too many people. It's a Sunday, so I imagine some people are enjoying themselves. Not like a Avellanas yesterday, definitely had a lot of people, but it was also Saturday. So this is very peaceful, it looks like a nice beach. Some surfers out there, good surfers beach. The waves look pretty nice. And now, we're in Playa Negra. This is our last stop. So I hope you enjoy the Guanacaste beach tour. I did different little tours of each of these towns as well. So those will be in separate videos, which I'll also link below so you can see what the towns look like. But in this video, we're just gonna kind of focus on what the beaches look like and maybe a little bit of the town. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. If you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica, that might be why you're here. Definitely check out the rest of this channel. I have lots of information and you can also check my website down below in the description.